Here you see MDT 2010 with my deployment share open in it. To add an application, you simply right-click the Applications folder and click New Application to start the new application wizard. To make sure that the AppV client is always available, you want to copy the source files to the deployment share, the default application type for MDT 2010. Then, provide the application name and any optional information you want to include, as you see here. Notice that I added the system type x64 to the application name. Next, you specify the location of the folder containing the AppV client and the name of the folder you want to copy the installation files to in the deployment share. MDT 2010 uses the information you provided earlier to suggest a folder name. So you type the command to install and configure the AppV client silently during deployment. This command is relative to the working folder, the Applications folder in the Deployment Share, so you don't have to include a path to the setup program in the... You see those prerequisites here. In this case, the command line I'm using installs the AppV client silently, configuring the publishing server type, the publishing server name, and a friendly name for the publishing server. The setup program offers many more command line options that you can use to configure the AppV client for your particular requirements. To hide the client, right-click it and choose Properties. On the General tab, which you see here, select the Hide this application in the Deployment Wizard checkbox. In the MDT 2010 Deployment Share, Task Sequences are in the Task Sequences folder. To edit a task sequence, right-click it, choose Properties, and then click the Task Sequence tab. Here, I'm adding the client to the pre-existing Custom Tasks folder. When you click Add, General, Install Application, MDT 2010 adds a new Install Application step to the folder. All that's missing is to give the step a descriptive name and choose the appropriate AppV client from the list of available applications. This task sequence is for 64-bit system types, so I chose the 64-bit AppV client. When they run, they'll install Windows with the AppV client.